You know, there's a verse of Scripture, 2 Corinthians uh, 2.17, that says, we are not as many as corrupt the Word of God. And in the modern versions, you'll find it as we are not as many, or it says that we don't peddle the Word of God. Oh, well, the original Greek says that that means to sell it. People sell Bibles all the time. You go to any Christian bookstore, they're selling, they're peddling scriptures. They're sp peddling Bibles. Now, they're going to tell you that pedal doesn't mean pedal. It means something different. But to me, a peddler is a peddler. You're selling stuff. So, but they don't want it. Now, that's an interesting thing. If you were the devil and you were thinking you want to attack God, what would you pick to do? One of the things he says is that he's magnified his word even above all his name, and his name is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every tongue should confess. And if his name is that important, and if his word is that important, don't you think the devil wants to have a piece of that? And what do you suppose he would do? Either he's an idiot, he's a lousy devil, if he doesn't do something to change those words, he ought, I mean, he should get in a new business if he doesn't attack the words of God. But then how could that be if there's all these Bibles that say and mean all kinds of different things, you don't suppose that he has a part of that? Or is every version of God, the New International Version, the ESV, the New American Standard, they all say different things. Some have more verses than others, even. Some have less verses than others. Verses. I'm not talking just words. I mean, okay, the, the NIV might have, what, 33,000 words or 64,000 words less, roughly, than a King James Bible. But, of course, people tell, well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. What difference does it make? Sounding like Hillary Clinton. Anyway, make a comment on that. Hmm. Okay, well, there's a number of different things. First of all, if you're the devil, the first thing you'd want to do is keep people from faith. All that matters to God for salvation is faith faith in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. So if you're the devil, the one thing you want, doubt, more than mm -hmm. anything else. So what you want to do is stop anybody believing that God has one truth. That's the first primary point, yea hath God said. If you can get people saying that I don't know what God said or I have no idea whether he said it, then you have taken them away from the only thing that God asks for. He that cometh to God must Believe, believe that, that he, he is, is and, and that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. See, Hebrews 11, 6 is there for a reason. God counts what we do in terms of whether it's by faith or by doubt. If you're the devil, you would want to make a Bible that's filled with doubt, that adds to your doubts, that encourages doubts, anything that keeps you from faith. That makes me suggest that maybe what God has is one Bible, with one message that leads you to faith. You know, it's interesting. People, we, we, people, some folks talk about, well, this is what it says in the Greek, this is what it says in the Hebrew. What kind of a Bible, which means book, would, be, would there be if God decides that just before he comes back again, the Lord Jesus Christ comes back again, why would he have a Bible that is in two different languages so that you can't cross-reference the Old Testament and the New? It makes more sense to me that he would come out with a Bible that's unified so that in one language that you could read a, read a word in the Old Testament and cross-references cross-reference it in the new in the same new to old that makes sense to me then you can do a serious Bible study now they used to say oh the New American Standard that's all that's for serious students of the Bible this was a serious student of the Bible because he was sold on the New American Standard. Just for the fun of it, you know the word pedal that they use in the different versions including the New King James or different versions of it, anything but corrupt, right? The term was used for one thing and dope dealers do it nowadays. They cut a drug in order to make a bigger profit. So they're peddling, they're selling drugs, but what they're doing is they're corrupting the drug by cutting it mm. with other non-drug things that are way less expensive and making it cheapening it and making it mixed bad stuff and quote-unquote good stuff and then selling it as if it's genuine that's what it's talking about is the issue the money well no the issue is the corruption itself the quality of the product the quality is what of you're the talking. product